assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to everyone watching this video if you know you are somebody who does not understand the war between israel and palestine if you know you don't understand and you are commenting wrongly and you are i mean taking side wrongly please do me a favor watch this video till the end in that this idea that the palestinian was living in their home and then the jewish refugees who were put under the Holocaust by the Europeans, persecuted by the Europeans, gassed by the Europeans, slaughtered by the Europeans, in the Inquisition, slaughtered by the Europeans, driven out of Europe by the Europeans, came to Palestine, to the Muslim lands, where the Muslims said to them, we have a rich history of coexistence, we have a rich history of living side by side, we did it in Andalusia, which is objectively considered the epitome of what coexistence looks like under Muslim rule, come and live side by side with us. The Muslims welcomed the Jewish population into the lands and the Zionist project convinced many of the Jewish population at the time, not all of them, but many of them to lift a gun, go and turf the Palestinian out of their homes, seize their land, seize their homes and put them into refugee camps. The idea being that we took in people as a guest and agreed to live with them side by side and they decided instead to take the house from underneath us and kick us all the way out. Not only that, the reason Palestine means so much is because there is this glaring shock yes. that in Instead of the world coming to an agreement that this is an apartheid regime that is set on oppressing the Palestinians, we see instead an, a coordinated approach from the international community to legalize the illegality, to say, okay, Israel may have taken these lands and stolen these lands and committed ethnic cleansing and driven the Palestinians out. But because we like them better than these backward Arab Muslims, let's discuss not about how to get the Palestinians to return to their lands. Let's talk about how much theft can we legalize as part of a two-state solution. After watching this video, I know you get the gist, so you get the understanding of the reason behind this war and this conflict and you as i mean a rational human being if you are a palestinian will you agree so that you'll be thrown out from your own house and you'll be seized to even exist on your own land will you agree drop your comments respectfully